Oh, that was a cold night. <laughs> so I slept with all my layers on. So I actually, I wasn't cold and I wasn't hot, but it was a freezing night. Thank God for my fly and putting my foil over the top of my sleeping bag. That just took the edge off and allowed me to have a good sleep. But yeah, stuff me, cold days. Can't wait to get back into the heat. All right, so I'm gonna go to the boring old black top, but I know there's fuel at the end of the road here. So I went there with Bob when we went to Uluru. So, working my way back to Alice. I don't know, if I see something exciting along the way in detour, maybe another night out in the wild would be great. Only in Australia. <laughs> oh, damn, it's cold. <laughs> really feel like a steak burger. It's been a while since I've had a good steak burger. Carry on, Artemis. Dunda, and as you know, I had a fantastic steak sandwich. <laughs> and Reinhold and Stefan, so father and son. So this is your first trip with your son? Second trip. Second trip. So um, Stefan's got himself a BMW. And so yeah, this twigs on my heartstrings because you all know I miss, miss my dad heaps. So for you guys to be doing a father and son trip, you're just, you're creating memories. You know, we take it for granted when our dads are here. But when they're gone, fuck, it kills you. It really does. So the fact that you guys are doing this and creating memories that you're going to have for the rest of your life and maybe one day you'll do with your son um, is pretty amazing. So, yeah, they got their big cruisers, nice, luxurious, and they're all nice and clean. Look how clean your jacket is. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of mud on the front. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to put some on there? <laughs> so quickly tell us where you're going and how long the adventure's for. Well, we're heading to Darwin. Yep, and you started place. in Adelaide. Yeah, yesterday. So, yeah. Um, yeah. This is day two. Yep. So chasing the sun. And how long's the journey? About two and a half weeks. Yeah, we'll be back with it. That's all yeah. we can afford in time. Yeah. We're both busy business people. Yeah, yeah well, I'm hearing you. <laughs> La 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 la, I'm not listening. So the ideal would be just to quit work, like my wife says, and yeah. go on an adventure. Well, there's something in what she's saying, you know. Yeah. Uh, when you've been in business your whole life, you can, you know, people said to me, aren't you, you know, you're insane what you're doing, you know, don't you regret it? And I said, actually, I think I'm the sane one and you guys are all stuck in the asylum, like I'm, I'm escaping the asylum. Um, but at the end of the day, it was just a simple matter of removing the fear out of the decision, business decision. When shit hits a fan, you take the emotion out and you just go, right, shit, what are we going to do to fix this? And it's just it's semantics. So the same way I made the decision to tap out, I can make the decision to tap back in. When you're a business person, you're multi-talented, you're multi-skilled, you're a workaholic. And, you know, look how many people lose their businesses through, you know, economic whatever. They lose the shirt off their back. Those people that have done that, how many of them start again? They start from scratch, from nothing. So mm. I'm doing that, but I made a conscious decision to do that. And I didn't lose a shirt off my back. I just liquidated all my money into motorbike funds. <laughs> okay. You know, and the same, oh, the same way. It's the same way, you know, people start again. And the only thing is, it kind of ruins you. <laughs> I'm a bit feral now. <laughs> I don't know if I can get back into my Jimmy Choo's. <laughs> no, this is feral. <laughs> yeah, so no, we will so see. You ride safe. You too. Your Never. <laughs> I got my dad with me. It's not possible. He's keeping me safe. <laughs> Those big wings of his.
<laughs> oh, you two had the best adventure. It was so nice chin wagging with you guys. Oh, great, yeah. Enjoy the memories. Priceless. Yeah. And then when you get back, start planning the next one. <laughs> I'm already playing the next one with, um, in Tasmania, but I don't know if my wife's going to let me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I keep saying this to wives, and you're all listening to me, wives. You know, boys don't just run away on their bikes to escape mowing the lawn or go hang with their mates and laugh and drink beers. Adventure. It's therapy. Yeah. This is therapy. You guys don't share shit. That's You've cool. all got a, a different degree of the black dog. Yeah. And um, riding bikes is therapy. And, you know, this is what I've discovered. And you boys have had the best kept secret for way too long. And <laughs> that's why there's a shitload more girls riding bikes now because we're, we've I'm snagged nice. onto the idea. <laughs> we I'm know. I'm the first to agree. I'm the yeah. first to agree. Women are taking over the role of what men should be doing because a lot of men have gone soft. Oh, well, soft. you know what? Oh, shit, I should, probably shouldn't say this on video, but that's kind of us girls' fault. The day we burnt our bras was the day that we confused the shit out of you men. You don't know if you're Arthur or Martha. We I'm want sure you to be sensitive, but we want you to be tough. That's it. So we kind of fucked it up for ourselves. <laughs> so I, we apologise. But anyways, for all the feminists out there that want to put arrows through me... <laughs> Woo! Got a full tank of premium. Okay, so I'm just in Earl Dunder. That was a great conversation with those beautiful father and son, Reinhold and Stefan. Lucky buggers, making great memories. Oh, I've got a great steak bur burger in my belly. So, off the Stuart Highway, up here is the Henbury Meteorites Conservation Reserve. So, I love craters. So that's off the track. What's that about? I don't know, 10, 15 k's, whatever. And then I'll come back out to the Stuart Highway and go into this place here. See, I just look for patches of green and then I zoom in and I go, oh, what's in there? And when I zoom in, that is Rainbow Valley. So that's, that looks like a good trail in there as well. So. Rainbow Valley and then Alice Springs. So Alice Springs is, I don't know, 250 k's from here. So on my way in, do an adventure first. <laughs> Let's go out of us. Let's go look at the craters. Love the craters now. to the crater. What's that road that goes down there? Oh, that's 
they shut the gate. <laughs> wow, it's travelling at 40,000 kilometres an hour. Get the surface of the earth at Henbury. There are 12 meteorite craters ranging in diameter from 750. Shock waves causing rocks to fall back and form the rims of the craters. Oh, it's quite a walk. How far? Where, where, where? Where, where, where? About 20 minutes, one and a half kilometre, easy return walk. Oh, spend the night under canvas and look for shooting stars. That's me. Oh, no, it's late. Ridiculous people, three dollars thirty. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> Please assist with our COVID 19 contact stalking. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Right, peaceful desert. Let's go walk this crater. Come on, son, push through, you can do it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, it's a little oasis in there. So there was actually two um, craters that hit, two overlapping craters, so that dark section there, that dark section there. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, of course you gotta go in. <laughs> Water crater. It's captured the drainage of a creek that occasionally flows into it. Oh, beautiful. Very 
children. So you can imagine the impacts that come pummeling down. A 200 litre fuel drum sized rock did this. So you can imagine the inertia, the power of the impact. Oh, that's cool. Alright, pack up. I hear Rainbow Valley calling my name. <laughs> Time to carry on. that the cloud has passed and it's time to go. <laughs> Boo! Come on Artemis! <laughs> <laughs>